Pick us on So Sunday. Daniel dropped his drill bit in the water <laughs> while <laughs> drilling, and and he and he thinks he's gonna dive in 23 feet of uh, muddy water and get a drill bit out of muck. We'll see. Is it just we the bit, see. or is it the whole? Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. It's Son good. Of a bitch, fucking a. How it's gonna be what? Fifteen feet deep? Uh, I can look it up. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, I'd like exactly. to. Yeah, why don't you tell me how deep it's gonna be? Well, the tide right now is full tide. Shit. Twenty-three feet. You're not gonna get it. I need a. I need a mask. Well, twenty-three feet is really deep. I wish I was drunk. <laughs> yeah, that would help a lot. Twenty. You don't have a big magnet, do you? No. Other side, so we're done with that side. Hey, take the hose down and breathe through it. Except, how do you get down there? Can take you get the outboard, down? Strap the outboard to my waist. Yeah, that's a good idea. I could breathe through the hose. You can't breathe through the hose. Oh, I'm gonna save the day. Magnet will bring up that bit. Daniel will no longer be diving. I will be taking it up with this magnet. I have not taken my wetsuit off yet. You don't notice that. You, you guys don't. Look. No, you don't. You guys don't. That's one thing I could probably, if you have time, any time ever, I could use help. Those two? So for the, for the record, Carl and Bert here, the brains behind this operation. This could be four shot. Yeah. Right. Two months later. <laughs> two months later. <laughs> They come back and they have like little finger marks on their necks. The boat is empty and I am completely alone. Something that is very rare around here. When you get a few minutes alone to organize your stuff. It's a treat. I can't tell you how nice it is. Unless you spend hours and hours in this confined space with three friends. Until you do that, you won't know how valuable a few minutes alone in the boat are. And there's the people living really fat while other people are scraping by in this country. There's our political theme of the day. Look at that. Multi-million dollar home. We got a daily political theme. Daily political theme. What's our daily political theme today, Daniel? The growing chasm between the poor and the rich in the United States of America. What has happened to our middle class? Where has it gone, the working man? The people that work in those houses are not working class. The people that do the work probably drive 30 miles. You mean the people that... Make the, people that, the people that keep the houses the up. That do the upkeep. Most of the people He's on a roll. Put that away. No, we're gonna give him a little boon. Yes, you rich boy. Come on, boot over, Carmel. Woo! Rich you. Come oh, on, do me. I wrote a friend of mine, I said, I think I have the perfect country and western song. And he wrote me back and said, you don't have the perfect country and western song because you didn't write anything about trucks, trains, or oh, trucks, or getting drunk, or mama, or dying. So I wrote this final verse, and I think I have the perfect country and western song now. <laughs> well, I was drunk. 
The day my mom got out of prison And I went to pick her up in the rain But before I could get to the station in my pickup truck She got ran over by a damned old train Oh, and I'll hang around as long as you will You see my breath? Yeah, I see my filter. So cow, baby. I don't know if you can see my breath on film, but it's fucking cold. These are not the things that I thought we would be experiencing on this really? Caribbean cruise. This, my brother, is exactly what I thought we'd be. I thought we would be having fun. We're not. We're. It's miserable. <laughs> miserable. We're not happy. We're very unhappy. Nothing. ESPN could offer us some fucking pointers. Just got hooked on a fucking towel. A towel. Not a fucking oh, no, that's pretty good. I got it hooked pretty good. Jesus. This is what I'm talking about. Dunn and Wasman. Our we, board we need to watch out for this guy. No, he'll watch out. We're under out sale. He, we got the right away. Our board, Put your arms uh, up for sale. Our board, the, the dinghy, headed towards the land of Isthmus. The rhino has sunk. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we have spent three days aboard this fucking dinghy. <laughs> aboard this fucking dinghy, me and Stein, and Daniel is our official paddler. Me and Stein are the drinkers for entertainment. Daniel needs. Daniel runs on entertainment. He's entertained, he's like a solar panel with sunlight. That boat's got three goddamn dinghies. Or that two? Two. The trip has been going extremely well. Wouldn't you say, Stein? Yeah. Me and Stein only got sick once. have got a vomiting competition going. Me and Stein have a... What's the game we're playing? Cribbage. Cribbage. We've been playing cribbage. Daniel has chosen to opt out, although we've, been, we've often invited Daniel to play with us, but he continually refuses. <laughs> goes into his fucking captain's quarters. That's not true. For the pinch and roll. <laughs> pinch and roll. Um, how's the trip, how's the trip been for you so far? It's been fine. What, how it's not exactly been a surfing trip, but... <laughs> You've got a fucking Jewish nose. I know. I don't think I've been this close to your nose. Yeah, Watch it, it'll get you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Can you pop it? <laughs> How's, what did you say? You didn't. This is how's this trip been? Has it tr turned out like you planned? Not necessarily a surf trip. I think like maybe more of a we originated it as. Well, yes. But no. it's definitely wouldn't pass it up for anything. Yeah, that's probably a good point. It's definitely a little bit different than. But I think we're gonna get some surf in Baja, right, Dan? I hope so. We'll we're, find some surf. I did a little. Well, the problem today. with finding surf, it's not the same with the car. You know, you, you, you find one spot's not breaking, you drive. To 10 minutes to the next one. And here, if one spot's not breaking, well, you just fucking throw down an anchor and day. <laughs> vomit and read books. Uh, Looks like we're drifting a little quicker than we thought. I don't think I've, I've ever seen this much rain in Southern California, nor this much cold weather. And Dan have been on so the trip for a month. So just to explain the story going on here, is our boat is about, oh, four buoy rows to the west or south or east. That, Can we get a visual on that, Dan? Maybe it's west. Here goes the pan. And uh, there's Rhino. 
because we're in no particular rush. Okay, here we come back. Woo, we that was that nice and smooth. We move. should check the uh, stern line first. So we had the paddle back to the boat. Incidentally, we picked up a few bears <laughs> just totally by coincidence. And Balski said we need to drink two beers before we. We're not allowed to dock. drink beers once we're on land. This individual here is actually the land police. And so the land police on the boat. <laughs> we have to drink. We have how many? Two more beers? No, there's about eight more. Ah, that's what I'm talking about, Stein. But uh, I think we're all, we'll we'll hit our two beer limit. We're gonna hit the dock here pretty soon. Really, that sure. Oh, look at he's fucking drawing it up again. I mean, this guy just drops his anchor for the fun of it because he's got a winch on it. Oh, I think I'll drop the anchor. <laughs> I think I'll pick it up. <laughs> I, we have no idea what that's like. We have Stein. No, that's actually Daniel. You know what that's like. <laughs> I think I'll drop the anchor. Uh, Bowski, drop lines. No, that's not that's true. That's the Ray Bamboo. All right, so. All right, am I closing this down? Daniel is our official rower. Oh, solo mio. Then uh, I'm here providing a romantic afternoon for these two young budding lovers. Let's go. It's getting a little chilly. Tell us there. about Boyle's work. Law, Daniel, or Rurik's scale. Kin the Kinsey scale. I was just explaining that I think there may be a shift in the Kinsey Dropping scale on board the Rhino. What's that mean? All shift progressively towards more. Promiscuity and yeah, there's for lack of a better term, there's no truth to that whatsoever. Quarter for 90 seconds in the shower. Did you use all eight quarters, Bowski? No, I got two left over. <laughs> I, w I wasted a little bit more than I thought. Hey there, boy! How was that shower? How was that shower, Daniel? It was just like those porn booths in Manhattan. Can I get another? Can I get another? There's a, where's the quarter booth for you there, Daniel? There. Dan's quarter booth did not use up all the quarters. I left a fucking advertisement of the day. This shit is the advertisement of the day. Pure Castle Soap. I wash my my private spots and my pucker hole. <laughs> it's like a fresh breeze. I never knew peppermint felt so good on my asshole. I think I'm going to use it on a regular basis. And believe it or not, Escon Escondido, California. I have food though, besides Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Wait, what was it? Dude, how did I? Did I? Didn't I have like fucking 500 boxes? Cases, I think. Yeah, like five cases. From the, oh, that's fucking right. They were for the fucking troops from Iraq. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what happened with that shit? This cannot go on camera. Yes, it can, Daniel. It's too late. Go on, Stan. What happened? So I used to work for a particular congresswoman. Oh man, holy shit. We gave them to a good cause. Most of them we gave to hungry little Mexican That's bullshit. kids. We fucking ate them. The well, kids were, were afraid of them. <laughs> the kids were afraid of them. We feasted about. There was a, so I, so, so so there was a party of about. It was my job. I was supposed to. Some fucking Girl Scout troop in like Manhattan Beach. God, this is gonna get me in roasting in hell. Was gave like 500 boxes of fucking Girl Scout cookies to the congresswoman to get to the troops in Iraq. And they were swamped. Like, they're like, we can't send Girl Scout cookies over there. We can't get this shit over there. It's just, it costs too much. Like, so I remember I had, like, we boxed up hundreds of these things. And we got some of them we just shipped. We paid, like, out of our own pockets to get these fucking things over there. But they were like, well, there's only so much we could do. So then we had a bunch of fucking boxes left over. Not cases, a lot. Cases. Not a lot. Maybe just like 10,000 boxes at least. <laughs> cases. Probably there was... It just so happened that we were planning a surf trip down to Baja that weekend. So that they were just going to be... They were going to be sitting in the fucking... I, we couldn't get them back. I can't remember what had happened. So I was like, oh, we'll bring them down. We'll give them to the little Mexican kids because we can't fucking... We can't... I don't know. I can't fucking get them back to the Girl Scouts. I can't get them over to the troops. So, anyway. Uh, probably about three quarters of those ended up... With Mexicans. That's absolutely not true. And then That's a absolutely of them... not true. Probably a quarter of them melted in the sun. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, there is a certain percentage lost to the elements. Uh probably an eighth of them went to the Mexicans because we gave them big colored boxes and apparently <laughs> The same stands true for Mexican children where you don't take things from strangers. <laughs> from strangers. <laughs> and the other nineteenth of them was consumed by our party of about 30 people. <laughs>
Those that are some of the best cookies. That was one of the best. Samoas. Oh, <laughs> that, I, I just remember every time we turned around, we were dipping in the cookies. <laughs> and I love coconut too, Daniel. Those were, that was one of the best trips oh, we've had. Samoa. God, we had some fucking fun ass trips.